What's going on, Clutch? What? What up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Duck. It's your boy, Ross. We are in the Clutch. Hey. Back to you, ladies and gentlemen, another video today. You feel me? Back with uh, MTV Chris was extremely fake, and here's the evidence. Extremely fake. For those who don't know, mm -hmm. a lot of what we saw on MTV Cribs was not really wasn't real. Cribs. It was somebody else's. Um, and, you know, mm -hmm. it was just to sell the idea of these mm -hmm. rappers living this lavish life. Not to say that they weren't. Mm -hmm. It just most likely wasn't their actual crib, their actual cars. Bam, boom. You know, because, I mean, at the end of the day, a lot of people are watching. So, yeah. you know, you kind of don't want to show where you really lay your head at. That's true, too. Because, you know, at the end of the day, someone can be like, oh, I... Shit, I, I, I know where that's at. Yeah, yeah, Oh, yeah. you stay over there on? Mm-hmm. So, and not to say that, you know, they didn't have maybe show some parts of their place or maybe show some of their collection of cars and or whatnot, <laughs> but even some of them probably didn't have it like that. And maybe the the, the record label was like, hey, we're going to put you on MTV Cribs, make it seem like boom, 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 boom. It's all optics illusion. Hey, flexing on somebody else's dime is what we call it. But yep, yep, yep. We finna check this out right now. Make sure y'all want those likes, subscribe, and let's get into this bad boy. Yeah. 50 Cent Ferraris, they were rented. Robbie Williams' castle home, it belonged to someone else. See? MTV Cribs wasn't exactly legit. And we said that that was my house. Oh, that wasn't your house? No, it's all lies. And nothing yep, shows this lies. better than the episode with Ja Rule. He flexed his five bedroom mansion on Star Island in Miami where he talked about living beside other famous celebrities. The house was so familiar that Ja Rule named each area, calling his courtyard the Open Paradise, which was patrolled by his guard dog, Cookie. It was shown in the intro that the property was a rental, but this was assumed to be on a long-term basis, given he knew almost everything about the mansion. However, as it turns out, Ja Rule's house on Cribs was actually a four-day rental, which was exposed in the most embarrassing way. By lawsuit. Ja Rule Dang. paid 46000 for the four-day lease, Damn. promising the mansion's owner it'd be used as a private home for eight adults with no video shoots and no loud oh. parties. Well, Ja Rule broke all three conditions, shooting his MTV episode whilst having a party with over 600 people. Oh. In the process- Bro, you went way over the- At least be honest. Damn, bro. That's crazy, fam. Damn. He, I mean, he broke everything. They didn't give him that as a prop, though. He just yeah. flat out faked it. Yeah. Like, it's like, me. Yeah, bro. Baby. That's crazy. Holes were punched in the walls. Furniture and doors were damaged. The yeah, driveway somehow cracked. Years. While condoms and syringes were left throughout the house. Syringes. As a result, Ja Rule and MTV were sued for a million dollars. But at least it looked like a house that Ja Rule would live in. As the Ying Yang twins crib ah. was laughably out of character. Yeah. The Atlanta gangster rapping duo opened the door revealing the most suburban that house. Even look filled with fish. That didn't even yeah, bro. Come on, bro. Come on. The cars, sure. But that, no, bro. Yeah. We, there ain't no damn fish in there. It's just a tank. Yeah, bro. <laughs> they just pulled up. Yeah, the car they is for up sure. With the crew to just record. Yeah, bro. Come on, bro. At bro. this random. You house. can tell, bro. Come on. Like, come on, bro. That's two loving family. Yeah, with bro. Kids. Like, come on. Who are you for? The Atlanta gangster rapping duo opened the door, revealing the <laughs> most suburban house filled with fish Boat. tanks, sailing boats, and <laughs> sea-related artwork. We waving. We waving like the sea. We decorated this ourselves now. That no, mansion was definitely decorated by some old white people, not the yeah. Ying Yang twins. This is clearly just a random old white guy's house that likes <laughs> yeah. fish and likes boats. That yeah. even argue over where they bought appliances and had to improvise names for each of the fish. You can tell the Ying Yang twins have never been in that house. Yeah. It seemed they at least owned the vehicles See, at the they end, are. as the cars displayed by Bow Wow were rented for the show. Mm -hmm. He was just 18 years old during his first Cribs appearance, but despite having starred in some high-profile movies, it seemed unrealistic that he could afford a six-bedroom mansion and a fleet of luxury cars. With his name airbrushed above his bed, it seemed as though Bow Wow at least owned the house, although the luxury vehicles were a little more suspicious. Because two years later, he'd go on the show again, during which a viewer made an observation. We had MTV Cribs running in the background and watched 21-year-old Bow Wow Wow, show off his bachelor pad in Miami, along with his pimped out Bentley, Lamborghini, and Cadillac Escalade. But then we noticed the word prestige at the bottom of all three cars and decided to Google prestige rental cars Miami, and what do you know, there it was. Prestige was the name of the
the company that Bow Wow rented the cars from, which right. was likely encouraged by the show, yeah. as Birdman also used the service during his mm. appearance. Regardless, people clowned on Bow Wow, stating, ha ha ha, I wonder if he rented the condo too, which by looking at his life was also highly likely. For example, he'd post his Ferrari to his Instagram, writing, take the drop top to the night spot. Keep the California in California. We went hard tonight, Grammy weekend, which was then reposted by a car rental company oh. who accidentally exposed our good friend Bow Wow pulling up to the Grammys with our Ferrari California. One year later... They knew what the hell they was doing, bro. You knew he was trying to, you know what I'm saying, with the car and then y'all go, hey, just not for it to be confused. <laughs> this is our Rari. Yeah, our good friend. Rari. <laughs> On, it was exposed bro. for flexing a rented Hollywood mansion, <laughs> but the worst example was in 2017 yep. when he'd post oh, this yeah, to his Instagram. Oh. He showed the private jet he was taking to his concert, yet the very same day this Snapchat went yeah, viral. Bro. So this guy Lil Bow Wow is on my flight to NY, <laughs> but on Instagram he posted That's a picture wild. of a private jet caption traveling to NY today, shaking my head. I don't know why, bro. It's like you, you don't you feel weird that celebrities got to do this, but they actually do that to keep uh, up with. Yeah, the they actually do, bro. When they shouldn't even have to, like them PJs are expensive. Hell yeah, bro. That shit. I mean, <laughs> that shit's hella yeah. expensive. A lot of times, the labels paying for that shit. Bounce with me came out how long ago? Like, <laughs> and bro. I'm pretty sure he was not getting <laughs> paid like that. His, his rejo uh, his royalties like he should have. You know, I mean, they were. They were eating off of Bow Wow in the sense of they were taking probably majority of that cut. For yeah. sure, no, bro. And so, he was a minor, so. Yeah, bro. They was taking a lot of that money that he made. I still wouldn't have posted. Like, that's bold. Like, you know you finna get on a commercial flight. <laughs> I wouldn't post that. Like, people, you just never know who's where. And the, the, the dude that did that, that took a picture, and he, he a hater, bro. <laughs> That's some hating move right Head. There. Turns out Bow Wow's picture of his private jet had been taken from a limo company's website, prompting people to dig even deeper, discovering he'd done this on more than one occasion. Ah, it seems cold. his MTV Cribs episode led to research. years and years of faking luxury, but as mentioned in Bow Wow's expose, 50 Cent <laughs> had done a similar thing. 50 <laughs> Cent's episode was the definition of excess. He showed his 19 bedroom, 35 bathroom mansion, which included a squash court, movie theater, recording <laughs> studio, court. and its very own nightclub. Hey. Equally impressive was his car collection, which included four different rare collectible Ferraris, <laughs> leading him to state, now, I know you ain't see these before when you was watching Chris, because Everybody ain't got these. Yet it seems 50 Cent didn't have them either. <laughs> Each Ferrari had little numbers nice on their slow. windshields, uh -huh. leading to a forum post reading. If you notice the small white numbers in the top left hand corner of the windshields on the F50 and Enzo, those are the numbers of the cars that were in the Hartford Concorso Parade, which wow. was confirmed when the user posted these photos. That's Another crazy. forum member added, it's, it's pretty research. obvious that they aren't his because it's a known fact that there's only one yellow Enzo in CT, which was owned by a pretty well-known hedge fund manager. Well, someone else go. then officially confirmed. The Ferraris are unfortunately not 50 cents. He invited my friend over to his house for this, and my friend let him use his cars for the episode, and they were filming some music videos that day as well. We the Enzo F50 and 599 all belong to one <laughs> owner. That's when crazy. 50 Cent later filed for bankruptcy, he'd admit the cars were rented. He to. He'd instead pay off debts by selling his mansion, therefore joining joining the likes of Jojo, who admitted to doing MTV Cribs while she was actually homeless. Jojo showed Damn. MTV through her Cape Cod vacation home, where Whoa. she supposedly loved spending her summers. It was therefore a little weird that she'd invite her extended family, but she'd reveal the reason for this exactly 10 years later. Jojo was asked about the episode in a Huffington Post interview, to which she'd respond it was so ridiculous. The thing is, we didn't have a home at that point. My mum and I were living out of suitcases Damn. and were mostly in hotels. So Damn. that was actually my uncle's house on the Cape. That wasn't my house, that wasn't my stuff. I should have bought hard and been like, welcome to my crib, look at how luxurious it is, and I should have rented out a place. But no, I just used my uncle's crib. Jojo further Damn. clarified. So we went to the Cape, which I've like never been to the crib. Cape. I like never go to the Cape. And we said that that was my house. Oh, that wasn't your house? No, that was not my house. We brought in some like items that I had. It's just... 
It's all lies. Should also answer the question. Why even bother doing the episode then? No. For the exposure. Oh, okay. Yeah. But no episode was faker than the one by Robbie Williams. He showed MTV his massive British castle, talking about the spots where he'd been snapped by paparazzi. He then shows his group of friends before making a joke. I don't really know these people, but what I do is I actually phone rent a friend. But apparently he also phoned rent a castle. You see, the building was so big that people recognized it. Um, as the uh -huh. famous St. Catherine's Court, which was owned by someone else completely, yep. Jane Seymour. She had no idea that Robbie ever went there or that he'd hired a fake butler to help uh -huh. out with the shoot. It wouldn't be until 17 years later that Robbie finally admitted, we didn't let Jane know that I was gonna pretend it was my house. Damn. And because I was like 23 and full of spunk, I didn't even consider other people's thoughts or feelings. So I'd like to take this opportunity to apologize to Jane Seymour. Damn but it might not have even been Robbie Williams' fault. Because Redman explained in a DJ Vlad interview that MTV tried to get him to rent a house uh -huh. for cribs. They wanted me to rent a house so I could mm. open the big double doors and yeah. like, yo, look at my shit, you know. With MTV trying to choose the home themselves. Mm -hmm. The first thing they, asked, they said was, all right, we got a couple of houses picked out for you. Wow. And I was like, oh, okay. Well, Redman simply refused. And I said, you know what, no. I don't want to rent a house. I want y'all to come to my house. And they Accidentally did. making the show's most relatable yep. episode. Yep. He brought yeah, MTV yeah, Chris yeah, to his two bedroom yeah, apartment yeah, where he- dog, this, this one nigga, one. I ain't know what was happening. But this shit was so fucking funny. It's but hilarious, real. bro. He kept it a honey. <laughs> That's, this is why I'm one of my favorite episodes because he kept it a hundred and, and they doing all the effects like it's a lavish yeah. house, but it's just this nigga too bad. And for him, it works. Yeah. And this is why I appreciate what he did because he could have easily rented out something that they picked out to <clears throat> fake it to make it, but he kept it true to himself, bro. bro. And look, look at it now, like it makes and, it makes him look even better now because he was always authentic about what yeah. he actually had. This, bro, that nigga is ironing, ironing on the, on floor. the floor, bro. If you know anything about that ain't hood. it, bro, you don't got no ironing board. The floor is your ironing board. I can appreciate it. this is one of my favorite. Ironed his shirts on the floor <laughs> and flexed his frozen fish fillets. Yes. Redman's recording studio was just a messy bedroom, oh, whilst the dang. rest of his house was in such disarray you could barely notice his cousin sleeping on the ground. <laughs> he concludes the episode stating, "Next time y'all need to find me, just rub these two wires for the doorbell." Oh, Don't worry about the screen too. Uh, you know it's still good. The realest episode of yep. MTV Cribs. Redman didn't fake it like other celebrities. Realest hey, episode, bro. He he did his thing, bro. Easiest he did realest he had episode, to do. bro. He ain't have to rent out nothing. He just kept it, you know, one hundred, 100. man. And and that's sometimes, not sometimes. It is the best way to be, bro. Because yeah, I bro. mean. Things backfire, and then sure. if you able to just at least lean on authenticity, bro, you straight. You yeah. always gonna be straight, no matter what. <laughs> Fucking love that episode. But yeah, bro, it was. It was for sure. Let us know y'all favorite episode from MTV Cribs because um, I did think the 50 Cent one was dope. I mm -hmm. one was dope because we were young around that time too. Mm -hmm. So just seeing like the basketball courts and all kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think who who else had a, a lot a real dope one. Um, that I was like, damn, I want to live there. It, it just made you dream about mm -hmm. getting into one of those homes. Yeah. But, they weren't in them either, so yeah, they were crazy. To find out, see what happened. See, we be yeah. chasing, yeah. you know what I'm saying? They weren't Waterfalls. even there, bro. They weren't even there. We don't bro. even be chasing real stuff. Mm -hmm. Think about that. Think about that. There's a lesson in that, mm -hmm. you know. Come up with a quote, bam. But no, nah, man. Uh, <laughs> Y'all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Let us know what else you be checking out. Of course, <laughs> continue to spread love, be love as usual, and always keep God first. Catch y'all next one, man. Peace. Peace. If you got a problem, then we got the solutions And there's no illusion I made this shit happen, I'm living life lucid I'm switching my strategies Now they hate on me cause I'm causing casualties So why are they after me? Deep inside they know they can't handle half of me